All right, guys, welcome back. Let's uh, let's head into this purple abyss. So it's been uh, a little more than a week since I've had a chance to play. Just had a lot of stuff. Ooh, paled. All right. Had a lot of this stuff going on this past week and uh, didn't get a chance to play. Did an escape room recently. It's really cool. Able to do it, uh, you know, socially distanced with... Uh, uh, I mean, there's just family members, so people within my cohort, but also they, you know, made sure it was all sanitary and whatnot. So it's really good to get out and do a social, uh, do a uh, escape room again. Been a while since I've done one. So this is the hallway. This is the hallway that we've seen so many times. There's the the eye door. Hey, we're gonna get some more information here. What what all this means? What is going on? Okay, we have got some floaty toys here. I want one. Can I have one? Yes, yes I can. What am I holding? It's like a... It looks like a vase. I don't want a vase. Get out of here, vase. I want a car. There. I'm taking this car with me. Nobody can tell... No. No, what did I just say? Nobody can tell me otherwise. Fine. I'll go this way then. With my car. Oh! There goes my car. Hang on. Oh, I'm so sorry, car. Come on. I couldn't grab it that time. <laughs> I do like this Asherian. I guess not quite Asher, at least not yet. But still very, like, weird. Oh! Man, this is cool. Okay, I can jump. Everything is, like, in. The space gravity right now where just everything feels a little bit lighter let's keep looking down this way see if there's anything new nope no hats all right oh okay <laughs> So then I doubt that's... I can hear the... Man, I don't like that I'm kind of like... Fading away while I'm there. But that's where the music is coming from. If I do it again... No, I can see my shadow coming through there. Yep. I'm gonna try going backward a couple of times here, see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Nice, nice. Okay. What is that? Is that where the toys were? Nope. Oh, what? This is wild. Okay. Yeah, here we go. All right. That door's peeling upward. And look, the eyes are looking different directions. I wonder if that means anything. This one looks like it's looking through a keyhole. I'm gonna go through the keyhole one. Nope. Alright, not the keyhole one. There's the one looking upward then. Okay, these ones have them too. That one's looking down. This one's looking straight at me. This one's looking upward. Let's try the upward looking one. All right, this is new. That's good. That's good. That one doesn't have an eye that I can see. Nice. Here we go. This is really cool. <laughs> I love just how the music stops like that, too. Gosh, they build such good environments in this game. Okay. Nope, hang on. This one has a faint glow. It is open, alright. Right? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> okay. The, the nice loud music from there, but... Okay, nope. I'm gonna go back. Try doing what I was doing before, where I went... Uh, no. 
guess this is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, just follow the music. Follow the music. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Just follow the music. No. What about back? Yep. Oh. That's not good. I don't hear the music anymore. Let's see. Okay, here we go. No. 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 Okay, do I need to try and like jump across? Nope, that's not it, guys. Oh, no, I see, I see, I see, I see. We're okay. I'm a dingus. This is very clearly is a bridge. There we go. There we go, okay. Yep, this is the one. No. Yep, here we go. All right. Progressing upward. The music is so eerie. But like also so calm. All right, that's where I hear music and breathing. Let's come back a little more though. Who's in here? Nothing. Yeah, I'll go in. Don't worry. Just want to see what's going on over here. Okay. Let's go in the door. The eerie, creepy door. Oh, it's just a music box. Some faces scratched out up there. <coughs> a bunch of bears. Whoa! What? Oh, arm. Hey, Six. Everything okay? It's okay. It's me. Hey. me yeah can I maybe say hi and then throw something on a doll no okay yeah I was a uh, Oh, I couldn't be so close. That's all it was. Oh, come on. Go closer. Come on. There we go. Oi. Ow. Nothing. Okay, can I... Can I stop the music box, maybe? No. Okay, here's six. Oh, no, she doesn't want me close. Fair enough. Oh, here we go, here we go. I need to break the music box. I'm doing this for your own good? Oh, 
<laughs> oh, 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 she's not happy about that. I did it to save you, Six. Oh, she got me. Dang it. All right, go, 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 go. No time to waste. I know, I'm so sorry. Whoa! Oh! Oh, she barely got me at the end there. She got me while I was in midair. All right. Straight running to jump now. Oh, that was straight running to jump. And uh, climb. Yes. Not in here. Oh, she's gonna look over here. There you go. Oh good, she didn't look over here. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Alright, we got an axe. I got a feeling I'm gonna need to use it fast. Alright, come on. Get through. Oh. Dropped it. My fault. Come on. There we go. Oh. She found another one. Oh, she don't like that. Okay. I have a thought. She's just protecting the music box. Go ahead, you do your thing. What if I come over here? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So you know what? Yeah. Hey. Now where are we? Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Man, I'm still like echoing here. I'm gonna look around a little bit. Jeez. Ah. So it's just gonna be this door. Alright, fair enough. Cool. Let's see what teleports where. Okay, that goes there. Oh, she had seen me already. It's all right. Wow. Okay. Got the right idea, though. Oh, I can't get up there. Okay, that's okay. Got to go this way. She sees me. Go ahead, you can see me. Oh no, you can see me there. Oh boy. Okay, so, has, definitely has to be a, a, a hay and run here. Run. 
on up here. Go ahead. And then... Ooh. Yes! I, I'm, I'm split on the whole how Little Nightmares is kind of like Dark Souls where the lore is almost non-existent. We don't know why this music box is controlling six. We don't know why. Uh, thank you. Six has weird powers. We don't know why we have weird powers. We don't know who all these people are or anything like that. I'm going on another search, by the way. It's really awesome because not knowing those things is fun. Like, there's an amount of mystery and fantasy horror that comes. Okay, yeah, I figured. When you don't know things like that. But at the same time, I kind of want to know because it's really interesting. Alright, so my axe is gone. It's up there now. So I need to distract her enough be able to pick it up or nope okay come on get it hurry hurry oh nope dag nab it six I'm trying to help you here okay I need you to come this way I missed again Okay, good. Oh, nope. <laughs> Man, I gotta be perfect here. Okay. Now I'm gonna wanna come all the way over here, I think. Come on. Oh, no, she got me. Dang it. Okay, I gotta get her to come all the way... Okay, yeah. There's, there's a pattern here. So starting here. Nope. Not gonna make it this time. Hey, I made it this time. Okay. Now I need to go like this. And then... Like that. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Oh man, it's like pulsating and breathing. Get the axe. Man, that thing is beat up now. Six. Gotta be free of this thing, six. There we go. Shrink back down. Normal arms. Did I get it? Did I destroy it? Yeah, I did it. And now we can go destroy the world together. Dang, she looks all creepy there in that stance. <laughs> oh! I don't like that! Okay, following you. There are so many eyes. This must be whatever... Like, is being worshipped. With all the eye symbols everywhere. Oh! Six, you're faster and stronger than I am. Six! What? So many eyes. That's too many eyes. Give us eyes. 
Get up. Get up, me. Get up. Six. Come on. Come on, six. Yes. Man, I did not know if she was going to save me or not. I kind of still don't. <gasps> I knew it. Six, you monster. Six, why are you the way that you are? I'm going to come out of that TV. I'm going to come out of there. Come on, come out of the TV. Why did she do that? What is six? Other than the worst. I was genuinely concerned that credits were about to roll. Ugh, what is this? It's gross is what it is. There we go. There's a chair. Oh, there's an eye. All right. Oh, so many eyes. It's looking at me. Fight back, me. No, fight back. Come on. No? Am I the new Thin Man? I think I'm the new Thin Man. Yep. Oh my gosh. That's what the hats are for. Thin Man has a hat. I wonder when we change, when we get new clothes. <laughs> yep. Dang. is going to close and there's going to be an eye on it. Called it.
Man six. Why you gotta be like that? Half hat. I wonder what that is. Right, let's find out real quick. Um, it would be cliche to collect them all. <laughs> Signal interruption. It's all over now, so beat the game. Man. Here's what I'll say. Little Nightmares 2. Man, in so many ways, I liked it better than the first one. Uh, maybe not better, but it's a, a good progression of the first one. I really, really enjoyed the aesthetic. You know what? No, no, no. Let's start with my frustrations. Because you know them, and there are a lot of them. But all in all, they are lesser than what I love about these games. So, uh, honestly, as far as a game goes, it's kind of janky. <laughs> uh, it's platforming is a little bit rough. Uh, getting that three like 3D platforming, the depth perception on that is always really difficult. And especially when you're choosing a very like uh, a very 2D angle you know you get 3D platformers like uh, Super Mario 64 or I guess <laughs> that's pretty dated and Mario Odyssey or like um, uh, what's the new one that just came out for PlayStation uh, Sackboy Big Adventure that we played they choose that this kind of like upward angle kind of like at a 45 degree angle uh, camera shot so that it is much easier to see all three dimensions when you are just in that profile shot the depth perception can be really difficult and even if it's you know the, the, sometimes it was like a, a, a 20 degree angle a little bit up you could see a little bit more of going backward and forward or sorry uh, going i guess back and forward as far as depth perception goes for the most part that was tough uh what was even harder though is just the actual response of like the grabbing controls. There are times that I could pick things up, times that I couldn't. Times that I wanted to pick things up and I couldn't. Uh, a, a lot of just different basic mechanic things were tough. The combat was more timed. I would say it was less combat, more choreography where you just had to know at what point in the dance you had to hit something. And if you messed that up, then you died. But all in all, the game is terrifyingly beautiful and beautifully terrifying. The environments that these people create bring horror to a new level. This kind of simple you're a kid game brings more horror feels to me than any Resident Evil game that I played. Maybe 7 was similar. But 7 relied a lot on like ew gross. This one had ew gross moments, but mostly just uncomfortable. The discomfort of seeing the teacher's head like extend her neck extend that first time. And then that ending section where her head is in the vent chasing you was just so unsettling. It was just so overwhelmingly disturbing. And then being with the doctor, the doctor himself was not like hugely disturbing or anything like that, but his prosthetic creations just in the dark and whenever you turn the light off, they start moving towards you and having just that little flashlight, like they, they create such good horror environments and disturbing in a way without being hand handed, hand handed in their disturbing. They didn't have to do gross throw up and blood and whatever else, you know. It wasn't like Resident Evil 7 where the mom is birthing bees. Like whatever else is going on. They, they had their own just little bit of unsettling. It also really helps that you are clearly somebody who does not belong in this world. Nothing is made for your size, for your stature. Everything is larger than life, essentially. And as you progress through the game you recognize that you are just a, a foreigner in this land and you are unwelcome and it creates this huge, huge feeling of unwelcomeness that you should not be here, that you need to hide. Uh, the, the, the people like diving for their televisions and the 
the bullies just like this place being populated is kind of what I'm saying. It's populated with things that hate you for no reason other than existing. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's so unsettling. It's like to me it's like the shining. Sure, there are scary movies that exist out there that can go boo, ah, and you flinch and you jump. The shining creates this like feeling of unease that sticks with you and that's the little nightmares games they create this feeling of unease uh, disease whatever it is that just sticks with you because the gameplay jankiness and the actual like aesthetics of it are so different to each other it's frustrating to me i feel similarly to when i played uh last guardian i think is what it's called the one the the team ico game where it's the kid and the baby griffin essentially where the game was gorgeous and it was pretty fun but the controls were so finicky it was i called i called that game the best great or sorry the worst great game i ever played or the best bad game i ever played i wasn't sure which one this isn't quite that bad i enjoyed this a lot more than i enjoyed uh <clears throat> than i enjoyed last guardian this still though Honestly, truly, guys, I'm going to tell you, watch this game. Watch Little Nightmares. Watch Little Nightmares 2. They're really, really disturbing and really great. I know that there's a sense of... Uh, a sense of agency when you're playing the game that you don't get from just watching it. But I will say that watching it allows you to maintain a suspension of dip disbelief a lot more than when you play it. Because... Again, a lot of times it's choreography, and when you have to do that same choreographical dance over and over again, it starts to become mundane. And so when I'm running from the 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 hunter and he's got a shotgun, and for whatever reason I don't run fast enough or I don't run the right way, I think it took me eight or nine times to edit them edited them out that episode. But eventually it's just it's not scary, it's not uh, tense anymore it's just me repeating that same thing over and over and over again but when you're watching it you don't have to be removed from the fiction in that way you don't have to have your suspension of disbelief broken as often as when you're playing it so these are fantastic games to watch if they ever make movies or comics or anything like that go purchase those things and you know what if these games are ever on sale if these games are ever at some sort of discount, then pick them up and play them. I'm not going to recommend them to you at full price. I'm really not. The, the, the jankiness from the controls are that much of an issue for me. They really are. But in some way, uh, patronize these games. Like, give them money, give them whatever it is in some way that is not buying the actual game. The world is incredible. The horror is fantastic. The, the acting, the, the, the animation, just like when I say acting, the voice acting of just the little things here and there, just the noises that voice actors had to make. They're so believable and everything's so wonderful. I wish I didn't have to play the game to get it. Like, <laughs> oh man, it's, it's so weird. Like, it is an incredible compliment and kind of like some deep, deep shade that I'm throwing here. But... The, the jankiness of the game was that frustrating to me at times. It really, really was. I, I, I mean, it's straight up broke the game a couple of times. You guys saw that where I would like, when I was going to the Rook and I just could not grab the top of the Rook, I, I couldn't progress. I couldn't do anything. The, the jankiness was literally game breaking sometimes. Other times it was just annoying and frustrating and I had to do the same thing over and over again. And there was no real getting used to it because the jankiness just kept up. It's not like something you can just learn how the game plays. It was a problem. I am told that these games are done. That the the devs of Little Nightmares are moving on to other things. I would be sad if that happened. Unless, I, I think they also got bought by another studio, by a larger studio. If that studio decides to give Little Nightmares the game to a different developer... If they take that horror and they take that theme, those themes and kind of just the, the visuals and the aesthetics of the game and they give it to somebody, a different dev team, one that 
does platformers and does platformers really well, I think a, you know, indie game of the year, you know, uh, platforming it, adventure game of the year possibility from that. Because again, they build horror so well. I cannot think of another series that immerses you in horror to this extent without relying on body horror or something like that. Again, this was a little bit of body horror, but I mean like gore and blood and things like that. This one's just weird, unsettling, and it does it so well. So I'd love to see it with a different developer. Okay, those are my thoughts on Little Nightmares 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you for being patient. I know I've been talking about this in the podcast. If you don't know we have a podcast, The Nerdy Gritty. You can get it on wherever your podcasts are are sold, whatever your podcasts are streamed. Uh, Spotify, SoundCloud, where we got it on YouTube. All that to say, <clears throat> uh, I've been talking about Little Nightmares 2 and Bloodborne the Old Hunters for a while. For like a month if not longer and not a single episode of either of them is showing up that's my fault i'm sorry but i finally finished this one so now it's going to be going up soon and then i'll be finishing the old hunters and that'll be going up and then i'm probably going to start streaming the room old sins and after the room old sins house of da vinci these are puzzle games that i really like and i don't know if i'm going to stream them or if i'm going to record them We'll see what I do because when I stream them, it's really fun to get people in there trying to solve puzzles with me. When I record them, we get a lot of traffic from people trying to look for answers to puzzles. So I don't know. We'll see all that to say you're going to getting this bloodborne, the old hunters, then the room old sins, then house of Vinci from me. Plus Fox is doing all his other stuff. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing for a while from here on out. Thank you guys for your support. Uh, you know me. I like to let... Oh. Is this just sounds? Yeah, it just sounds. You know me. I like to let credits play out. I think that everybody deserves their name to be seen. Even if you're not directly paying attention. It's important that we actually, you know... We recognize Nora Snuffle Albach Nurgard. But it looks like we're near the end here, so... I almost did it. I almost talked through the entire credits perfectly. Oh, maybe. It's it's going pretty heavy here still. <laughs> Tekken! Alright. Any after credit stuff? Nope. That was it. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.